Hello, uh, this is my terrarium, this one here. Um, it's fully planted, it's kind of like a bioactive uh, terrarium with live plants. Uh, it's in a Exoterra 12 by 12 by 18 with a 12 inch compact hood. Um, it has, what is it, it a jungle rain. No, jungle, jungle light. I don't know what it is. Uh, the it'll be in the description below. Whatever's in here. Um, so I did the background myself. Um, it was my first time, so let's be honest, it's not going to be the best. Um, basically, I put cork, like uh, cork where this plant is here. Um, another piece of cork here, and another piece of cork there. Um, and then I basically expanded foam, used expanded foam to glue it all in place and make a, a nice little background. And then I used silicon, which you can see a bit of it here. Um, silicon the expanding foam and put cocoa fibre on top so it all sticks and it makes like a, a dirt background. Um, I have a, a Rectiflow 200 in the bottom beyond them plants um, which has a tube all the way up to the top and it makes a nice little waterfall I don't know if you can see that there uh, it just come out the top um, I stuck a few bits of slate in just to split the water a bit just so it doesn't come down in one massive like river um, thinking that would just destroy all the plants and everything um, I have a little bank here made out of slate it, it's all pretty much come off because I've only just used uh, I've only used silicon I need to find find some which is more sticky and keeps it all in place but even though this moves a bit and all the slate moves a bit it should stay in place and it will be more sturdy once the plants have started growing um, I've got sand at the bottom here it's a bit dirty I need to get some uh, sucking roaches or some snails to clean it up a bit um, anyway let's go on to the plants I have I think I have eight different plants in here um, with six species I believe um, so where should we start uh, this is just like a, a climber I don't know what all the names are um, I can't remember um, I'll post them all in the description below if I can find them. But I know this, this here is a climber. It's doing really well. Now I do need to spray it because it's getting a bit dry. But uh, as you can see, it's all attaching onto the, the mesh at the top because the light is just here. Um, I'll go over the heat after. Um, these here, I've only added these. Uh, zooming a bit. Uh, them there. Uh, they, they're, they're doing okay to be honest um, I've got two more bunches down there behind the mangroves and another one here um, these are baby tears or mind your own business uh, they have many different names uh, some people call them angel tears baby tears whatever um, apparently they grow really quick and like they spread out a lot so that's why I bought them just to cover up uh, the back bit just because uh, this bit here is pretty much bare um, and I need to cover it up a bit um, uh, let's continue on the backboard um, there's java moss uh, which is there that um, hopefully the, most of these plants were done last week so they're still like attaching themselves and rooting so hopefully all this will grow onto the side um, it makes a nice dripping effect onto the plants and in the river um, well like light part at the bottom um, moving on from the jar java moss uh, we've got we do these floating plants I don't know what they're called but they are floating plants um, I hopefully wanted them to come as one big plant but they came as lots of separate plants so they will take a bit longer to settle in and start growing uh, as you can see it's a bit of a mess at the bottom 
but hopefully in a few months that will start to clear up and and root itself and you know, whatnot. Um, let's do the mangroves. These I've got three mangroves. That was about seven ninety nine for three or something like that. Um, all links will be in the description, obviously. Uh, here's another one. Th th these aren't the the actual places that they're actually going to be. It's just I don't want to touch them too much because they're full. Um, it says only put the roots, the, the tip of the roots in the water, and not the stem part. So I don't know if I'm, just not that part. The um, do my pen thing. Um, only the tip of the water so it's like that and this bit here is not allowed to be in the water otherwise it would just die uh, nor is that bit there the top bit of the root um, so yeah I thought you could just stick them in the water and they'll be fine they probably can but I don't want to risk it um, just in case they die because 7 99 it's not a whole lot of money but it's still quite a lot of money for th just three mangroves um, so let's get on to these plants uh, I'm not fully sure I do have the website up uh, let me just move my laptop over um, the species is Anubius that's what they're called Anubius uh, A-N-U-B-I-A-S Anubius like a spelling bee. Um, so I've got four of them in here. Uh, I believe that one at the back, the taller one, is a congenius. C O N G E N S I S. Uh, so a con congius. And then, um, not sure. So these two, these two are the same. This one here, this one, and this one here um, are Anubius Nana, N A N A. And then I've got this final one here, which is, let's just have a look. Um, I believe it's a Coffeola, a Coffeola. C O F F E E F O L I A Coffeola. Um, so all the links for them will be in the description below. Um, this video is going to take ages to do the description, but hey ho. Um, if you want to message me about anything, um, please just message me over YouTube. Uh, it's the quickest way possible. Um, so yeah, hopefully in the next upcoming weeks, I'll have another one, which will be around three times the size of this. It's a 45 by 45 by 60 long. So that's a bit longer than these two together. So it would be about, about here. Yeah. 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 It'll be about to there. So that, that's going to be big. I don't know what I'm going to put in there. I'm just going to do more plants. I might do a pond at the bottom. Um, I might not. All depends on what I have and how much money I have. Because everything costs money. But what's life without money? Um, so might as well spend it. Um, so I think I did a good job on here. Um, I haven't put anything in yet because I'm not quite sure what I can put in. I was going to put um, some reed frogs, but I don't. I, I can't find any to buy. Um, so if you if you're watching this and you know what I could put in here, um, message me or comment in the comment box below. Uh, I was going to put my white tree frog in, but this is his cage. Well, terrarium. It's fully plastic plants. A uh, little locust up there. Yeah, he's eating locusts and mealworms. Uh, there is a care video in my YouTube videos, so you just check that out. 
Um, so like I say, if you know anything that I can fit in here, it's a 12 by 12 by 80 in Exoterra. Um, message me in the comments or uh, message me over YouTube and I will take it on board and hopefully buy that if I can get hold of any. I am in the UK so bear in mind that I can't buy anything overseas. Um, so yeah guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and peace out guys.